Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. So, uh, I spent a, about a 10 hour deep dive into the proto track and um, I think I worked it all out, at least for now, the way I want it. Um, I found a, a CAD program that I like, uh, also a CAM program and I was able to locate a post processor for the MX2 uh, and I also got a custom cable made and I figured out how to connect Windows 10 to the RS-232 port of the computer and also I figured out how to upload a CAM program to the Bridgeport Prototrack MX2 um, I am not interested in conversational programming. It's just uh, so backwards to me that you know I'd have to stand there and plug in numbers. And I'm not knocking anybody who wants to do that. It's just not for me. So uh, the first, uh, the first thing I want to make uh, for for uh, you know with the with the uh, Bridgeport Prototrack is some servo adapters. Um, one of my other projects is um, upgrading uh, a couple of Bridgeport Boss machines to Centroid and I ripped off the old stepper motors and I'm putting um, new DMM AC servo motors. Much better, much more powerful, much more accurate um, and I need to make servo adapter plates because the old Bridgeport stepper motors were quite large and these are a lot smaller uh, and so I went to the CAM program and I wrote uh, a program uh, for the proto track to uh, starter drill tap drill and tap uh, two sets of four whole bolt patterns so the first bolt pattern will be for the small uh, servo motors and the second bolt pattern will be for the larger uh, stepper motors you know that's that's the bolt pattern that the Bridgeport has on it and then uh, in addition to that I'm doing a circular pocket because the uh, the new servos have a, a like a locator pocket so um, I programmed all that into cam and I uploaded it to the proto track and um, we're going to uh, run that program right now so you can kind of see how the machine works uh, now, you know, this is a, a, a two axis machine, so um, I will be the third axis. So for drilling and all that stuff, I'll be doing that manually. But at least this will get me, you know, in the positions I need to. I'm going to have a, a, a vise, uh, a set of parallels. I'll just, you know, clamp the vise to the table, get it all set up, but I just want to test it for now. Uh, and by the way, uh, Check out one of my other videos. I'm making some parts to steady up this Prototrack pendant. Um, using my Bridgeport cherrying head. So now that I touched it, let me make sure it's kind of still in focus. Okay, hopefully that's good. Uh, so the, the part is, uh, the, the program is loaded into the Prototrack and we're gonna go ahead and press start. Um, I have the the button here so I can step through the program and we'll go to the show path so you can kind of see what it's doing. Uh, this this uh, program it assumes you're starting from zero zero which is the center of the part. There's you know you could set it up in other other ways with an edge finder but for for this simple part this is going to be fine. I can find the you know the perfect center with uh, with the uh, a center finder. Uh, so here we go. So we're going to go ahead and this assumes that we have our first tool in and ready which would be our starter drill. So we're going to use the starter drill on our first hole, our second hole, third hole, fourth hole, now it's telling me to load tool 2 which is going to be my drill that's the, going to be the tap drill for the tap drill size. So I'm going to load it. 
put it in my Jacob's chuck or whatever chuck I'm going to use. And here we're going to go to our first hole. Second. Third. Fourth. Now it's asking me to load tool three, which is going to be my tap. So I'll put the tap in, go through the four holes again, one, two, three, and four. So now it's going to go to a tool change position. I don't know why, but it's expecting me to uh, load my starter drill again. So it's going to take me off to the side a little bit. So this is where I'm going to change my tool. Now I'm going to go to my first hole of the second bolt pattern, which is the larger of the two. That's going to be the first hole. Second. Third. Fourth. Change my tool. Back to the first hole. So we're going to go through this again for the tap drill. Change my tool. Now I'm going to tap the first hole. Second. Third. Fourth. Now it's taking me back off to my tool change position. And this is where I'm going to put my half inch milling cutter. And for the half inch milling cutter is where I'm going to cut my circular pocket. So uh, that's going to, it's an aluminum plate, so we're going to use a two flute cutter. We, chain, we loaded the tool, which is tool 9. And now we're back to the center. And uh, not only am I the, the third axis, but I'm also the tool changer. I should change my name to Manuel. Okay, here we go. We're going to start the process. This is going to cut the pocket. Now the feed rate is, is super slow because obviously we're cutting aluminum or or we could be cutting steel and I set the feed rate for aluminum so so this will go on for a little bit while it cuts the pocket to the proper diameter <clears throat> and if I need to uh, do this a couple times to it's I mean it really the pocket is only going to be three millimeters deep so it's not a super deep cut uh, but if I need to do it again, I could go into the step mode and I could find just the step for the pocket rather than go through all the drilling cycles again. Um, but that's it. So ProtoTrack is alive. Uh, and another note where we got the parts for the uh, Bajour oiler. Uh, I bought a new plastic sump. I got a new filter for it. So I'm going to rip that apart and clean it. Um, got a bunch of way covers. Uh, that's something I have to install. That's one of my projects coming up as well. And uh, as soon as I get some uh, collets for the cherrying head, we're going to be making that um, the uh, pendant uh, adapter for the, the column. So get a nice kind of a, a roundish adapter so it fits on the, on the uh, bridge port really nicely. So anyway, that's, uh, that's where we're at with the uh, MX-2. Uh, mission accomplished. I'm, I'm happy that I got it finally to work. And um, I guess once we get these parts made, then we can go back to the, uh, the Bridgeport boss and start uh, working on those. Uh, and additionally, that's another project. I, I've been collecting the parts, the circuit breakers, the contactor, uh, all the wiring stuff so I can build that back panel. And uh, I guess that's on the list to make a video for that as well. So anyway, hope you guys are all well and safe. Um, thanks for sticking around. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and uh, hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys are making something cool in your shop. Thanks for watching.